And when I moved in, I had two cats, Boris and Midnight. And that's reasonable, a, a middle-aged woman alone in the woods with two cats is reasonable. That's reasonable. Um, but something happened. I don't know if uh, there's some kind of intergalactic kind of thing that cats have a little, some kind of strange transglobal communicating thing that they do. And all of a sudden, there was like five, six, seven cats. Wow. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, just it was like, boom. You know, woman in the woods. <laughs> so they just started showing up like crazy, you know. And then the raccoons, of course, start on the heels of the cats. You know, the raccoons. You know. And the raccoons are unbelievable. I have I have paw prints in my house. They're intense. They they get inside. They come in, and then they just they want to they want to read your journal. They put <laughs> on your clothes. They bounce up and down the bed. And then I have I actually have. Prints of the, the raccoons on the ceiling. How they do it, I don't know. They just go right up. So, and then I have to name everything because I don't know why. You know, I just have to name all the cats. So they all, you know, they all have the raccoons and Ludovicia the blue jay. And I just forget it. So one of the cats. This is interesting. I. You know, I've done two songs and I'm 45 minutes into this one. <laughs> um, uh, one of the cats showed up, he's a big feral tomcat. And he's big and fluffy and black and white. And he's gorgeous, he's just beautiful. But he's feral. And so he doesn't want to, the other cats, now I'm down, I have only, you know, a few cats now, but they come, they go, they die. They, but, but during the, the flurry of the big pride of cats, um, <laughs> Sammy approached, and Sammy, big and black and white, and he's very beautiful and very fluffy, but he's nervous, you know, because he's feral. Mm -hmm. And so, but I can see him thinking, he's like, oh, I'd like, I'd like to go in there, I'd like to have the pet new lady one day, but not right now. I'm thinking about it, the other cat's in your drive, but God only knows, maybe she has them hypnotized. Who knows what she's doing? She's doing experiments on it. <laughs> it looks nice. I'd like to try that, but not right now. But I'm thinking maybe one day I'll do it. Anyway, I like this cat. This cat needs a song. So I've written a song for the cat. It's called, If Tom Cat Needs a Lady to Behold. And in this, tonight, I shall be playing both the part of the Tomcat and the nice lady. I will be playing both <laughs> Just the breadth and the depth and the scope of this. So I, I think you'll probably know when it's the Tomcat and when it's the nice lady. It's, 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 I, it is, it's cheaper if I do it. If, if I try and find an actual nice lady like Annette or Val, to say it takes time, I have to pay them. It's good. So this way, just fast, it's easy, it's cheap. All right, here we go. <laughs> I'm a lone and vicious tomcat who is waiting for a meal from that kindly lady living there. It's all. If I wasn't such a freaky cat, I'd try and strike a deal. For I long to feel a kind hand on my heart. <laughs> Still a tongue cat has his dignity <laughs> and pride. Descended from the tiger forced to hunt in a Barn. My little frame cannot contain my lion's soul. From saber tooth to kitty on old MacDonald's farm. Now a tomcat needs some lady to be whole. Now a tomcat needs some lady to be whole.
called dependent is our species now and all of its ilk neutered and addicted to the bone <laughs> our great pride in exchange for a torpid splash of milk <laughs> one cat needs some lady to be Yeah. <laughs> 